Yo guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to yet another video. In today's video, I bought a new bike, boys. I bought yet another new bike. And most of you already know what it is, but I bought another one. And welcome back to a very empty garage. Yeah, that that's not really my style, is it? Anyway, all the things for Smoky Bubbles, which is coming fairly soon. Uh, this is the place where everything will be. And over there, I know, we got like a scooter don't don't ask me questions about that so yeah a quick fact this company called in motion asked me if i would drag race a scooter versus my new bike and i was like why in the world would i want to race a scooter versus my bike they were like it does 100 kilometers an hour i was like that's fast for a scooter so uh send me over so uh, we get a 4000 euro scooter over here i'm gonna drag race it against my new bike and in today's video We'll also be going uh, to the shop for my new bike because uh, I need to bring the license plate and the GPS so I'm taking you guys with me. But as you can tell we got the Suron right there, we got the big ass scooter right there, we got another scooter over there. We got the Honda CT125 from Japan, we got my full factory 350 FE, we got my shitty scooter, the two red Hondas, the 110 CRF and the, one, uh, the 110 CRF and the 50 CRF are inside of the garage at the house because I've been riding with my son on the dirt bikes. And yeah, the KDM. KDM is gone, boys. You guys still remember the uh, Honda Africa Twin that I unboxed, that I love popping wheelies with, that I took to Germany, that Honda sent for me to Spain to ride Bandera Cerealis with. I kind of fell in love with it. So the other day I got in contact with Honda and they were like, uh, Smokey, we can make you a very, a very good price. God dang it. Somewhere in one of my videos I said like, I might be selling the 1290 Super Adventure R. I might. I didn't really want to because I just want to keep it on the side and then I have the Honda Africa Twin on the other side. So I have the gruesome crazy machine and like the Honda for touring. But then one of my buddies calls. Smokey, are you selling your KTM 1290 Super Adventure R? Mm. I'm just kidding. Nobody of that age will ever buy a KTM 1290 Super Adventure R. Thing is an absolute beast. So yeah, I was like, mm, I'm thinking about it, but not yet. I'm not ready for it. It's like asking your wife what she wants for dinner. And she's like, I'm not really sure if I'm hungry. Abort mission. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. So it's like Thursday night and he was like, I want to come and look. I'm like, no, no, I don't want you to come and look. I'm not at home. He was like, I know you're home. They're like, most of the time you're home if you're not traveling. Yeah, I gotta admit, I have been traveling a lot. Anyway, I was at home and it was like, I'm going to show up right now to look at it. I'm like, nah, not really, not really. Anyway, 10 minutes later, doorbell rings, he's here to have a look at it. I'm like, I don't want to sell it yet, so give me some time on this because I really like this bike and I really don't want to, I got some money right here. I'm like, no, no, this is all going too fast. But yeah, Smokey's a good friend and if a friend wants to have a bike, then Smokey sends the bike with the friends. So the KDM is gone and I'm not really sure how to feel about it. But anyway, we're going to go to the store, boys because we're gonna check out my new machine. Let's go. Now I was just thinking that that is mine, but that looks like a brand new one. Uh-oh, problem. All right, I'm bringing the Zumo in because uh, we're gonna put the GPS on. Let's check out the little ones over here. Oh, look at that. I bought that one about two to three weeks ago. I also have that one. No, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't want to look at it just yet. Now uh, we got the Groms. Of course, everybody loves Groms. Who doesn't like Groms? Look at that thing. <laughs> I've been thinking about getting a Grom myself because I still have like uh, knobby tires for it. I still have like 16 inch knobby tires. And uh, yeah, a Grom in Belgium, if you want to know, costs 4,249 euros. But look at that thing. That thing is so cute. But I also do like the monkeys though, uh, and the Daxes. We got the Honda Dax over here. Now I'm not really sure if these things get sold, 4,549 euros, if these things get sold all over the world, because I know you can buy them brand new in Belgium, but I'm not really sure if you can actually buy these things in most other countries as well. Here we go. The one and only, the monkey. I think the monkey is about the same as the Dax, it's like 4,500 euros. And over here, of course, we got the twins, the Africa twins. Look at that. Oh, there's two of them. Africa twins. Over here we got the Africa twins, the adventure sports one, which is not that one. That is the normal one. And over here we have the normal one with the, uh, with the DCT as well. 
I was looking for the clutch, but there is no clutch, you know. Uh, and this is uh, the normal version, but of course I'm here for that one with the electronic suspension, electronic suspension, and uh, also the DCT. But I put the uh, the rally package on it, so I also have a foot shifter. And on this side, of course, more scooters because Honda has like uh, I'm really not sure how many miles they have, but they have like a lot. The most sold or the second most sold Honda in Europe, the XADV, yeah, the one they uh, sent me for to Italy to uh, check it out, the 2025 model. Look, if you can tell. This one's got the indicators on the side, and the new one has the indicators in there, All right? Ooh, and the one and only, the new Goldwing, the Bagger Edition. Look at that. Ooh, such a badass bike. Also, it uh, rides like a small moped, so uh, it's pretty fun to ride as well. Now, last time they had like a CBR 1000 RRRR with like 6R on this stage. Turns out it is already sold. And another older model, Africa Twin. Adventure Sport. And over here, another beautiful specimen, Africa Twin Adventure Sports. Anyway, let's check out my bike, because I'm here for my bike. All the way silent here in the back. And look at here, boys, Smokey's new bike. Now, uh, just fun fact, when the new uh, BMW GS Adventure was launched, uh, a lot of people started buying the Honda Africa Twin. So it turns out that a lot of people were waiting to buy an Africa Twin until the GS Adventure came out. And when it came out, a lot of people uh, chose for the Africa Twin, so uh, earlier this year a lot of these bikes got sold. Yeah. Fun fact, uh, there is a 2025 model already in the back over there. It's right over there, I'll show you guys in a second. But uh, it turns out that so many people started ordering Africa Twins when the GS came out. That's a fun fact though. So yeah, uh, anyway, you can, you can tell already this is the bike that I unboxed. This is the bike that I put the uh, bars and the things on and the... Uh, Oh yeah, look at that. This is the bike that I put all of the stuff on. I unboxed this one, put all the gears on. Already got the, uh, look at that, the Truartec. Uh, it's for my uh, GPS navigation. Gonna put that on as well. Uh, Honda Mertens is gonna put it on for me. Uh, so yeah, this, this bike is just brand spanking new. We got the electronic suspension, we got the, the DCT. We got the flippers, of course, right over there. Like I said, I can also use the foot shifter right over there. Don't have to, but I can. So that's a fun fact. So. Uh, Already got uh, a little bit of knobby tires, not the best knobby tires that I like, so probably gonna put Karoo fours on them, because I do think that these these are the Metzler, which one are these again? Metzler Metzler Karoo Street version. So uh, I don't really like these ones because at 120 km an hour they kind of make a lot of noise. So uh, I do want to change them when they worn out anyway into uh, another one. And for the rest of it, absolutely like this bike, so I don't need to have something else on it. It's absolutely perfect. And also for the 2025 model, they changed this color and this color. So this color became dark blue over here, light blue over there. And also they also made this dark blue, but I like this color more than this one. So the 2024 model, I like this more. And of course, of course, talking about the exhaust because I want the SC project uh, exhaust as well. Because the original one, you know, who likes an original exhaust? Don't need that. Anyway, CB650Rs. And look at that, we already got a 2025 model Honda Africa Twin right over here. Because, yeah, all the other Africa Twins are just sold out. There are getting sold so much of them that they just don't have any new ones anymore. All right, so uh, now Honda is making sure the paperwork is all done for, uh, for my beauty. Look at that. <laughs> making sure the paperwork is all done. Uh, they also have to take it to like... Uh, some checkups and something like that. So, a couple days, the paperwork should be fine. Gonna pay some moolah and uh, time to ride. <sighs> I hate, I hate leaving her behind. I hate it. Take care, take care. You got your friends here, you got your brothers and your sisters here. Hang in there, I will be picking you up very quickly. Well, if I can't take the bike home, I'm at least gonna take a part of her home, yeah. yeah. <sighs> All right, look at that. It's still got some Spanish Bardenas Reales sand on it. Ah, nice. Oh, I love that I have one in the showroom over here. Look at that thing. Ooh, yeah. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Love it. Anyway, that is it for... <laughs> <laughs> that was a badass one. Anyway, I have seen the beautiful specimen, the Honda Africa Twin DCT with electronic suspension. Yes, Uncle Smokey's going DCT. I love it too much. I love it too much. So I kind of spoiled, kind of spoiled the, uh, the surprise, but a lot of you already knew I was going to buy the Africa Twin that uh, it has too much history. It already has history and I, I didn't even ride it for that long. So anyway, that is it for today's video. Hope you guys liked it. 
make sure you subscribe because there's gonna be a lot more Honda a Honda adventures coming soon see you guys next one see ya Yo guys, thank you all so much for watching. If you also want to make some money on the side with YouTube or become a full-time YouTuber as myself, or you want to build your personal brand, make sure you click the link in the description and check out my free webinar. Yeah, new video, my favorite video.